Have you ever heard the whispers of the Wyndham House? This is the question that led Lucas, a fearless journalist in his early 30s, on a chilling journey to uncover the truth. With a heavy camera bag slung over his shoulder, he stands before the grand, decaying mansion, its eerie silence broken only by the nocturnal symphony of the small town of Rosehaven. As Lucas pushed the gate, it groaned, revealing the dark silhouette of the mansion against the backdrop of a full moon. The grandeur of the past was fading, but the whispers? They were just beginning. Our friend Lucas, courage bristling, steps into the heart of the Wyndham house. His flashlight, a beacon in the darkness, cuts through the gloom, casting long, dancing shadows on the ancient wallpaper. Every creak of the wooden floor beneath him echoes through the hollow chambers of the once majestic house. As he ventures deeper, the eerie silence is broken by a soft rustle, a whisper. The whispers seem to be carried on the wind, bouncing off the walls, growing louder in his ears. He pauses, listening, but convinces himself it's just the wind, playing tricks on his mind. He forces a breath, steadying his racing heart, and continues to explore the echoing halls of the house, armed with only his flashlight and determination. But as he delves deeper into the house, the whispers don't cease. They grow louder, more insistent. But he was not alone. The whispers were getting louder. Every house hides secrets, and Wyndham House was no exception. Amidst the dust and decay of the library, Lucas stumbled upon an artifact of the past, a diary. It was a window into the life of Adelaide, the Wyndham family's only daughter. Intrigued, he started to thumb through the fragile pages. The entries painted a vivid picture of a young woman in love, her heart captured by a man named Thomas. This was not a love her family approved of, a forbidden romance that was kept hidden within these very pages. As the entries progressed, the tone shifted, the joy of love replaced with the dread of separation. The final entry, dated the day of Adelaide's mysterious disappearance, was a heartfelt plea for understanding and a desperate promise of eternal love to Thomas. Adelaide was gone but her story was far from over. The whispers of Wyndham House had begun to unravel their tale. Mirrors don't just reflect, sometimes they reveal. In the frigid master bedroom, Lucas found himself face to face with an unexpected sight. An ethereal glow enveloped a vintage mirror, within which Adelaide's spirit resided. Her soft plea for help echoed through the room, her words clear and desperate. Help me, find Thomas. The sight was startling, yet Lucas was drawn to it. Adelaide's tear-streaked reflection reached out to him, her silent plea resonating within the silence. The spirit of a lost love lingered, yearning for closure. Every whisper led him deeper, every secret, closer to the truth. A chill of realization swept over Lucas as he uncovered the skeletal remains in the cellar. The ring on the bony finger was the undeniable proof. Thomas, Adelaide's forbidden love, was here all along, trapped within the confines of Wyndham House. The whispers, the pleas for help, they were all for him. In the darkness, the truth was finally laid bare. Opening. The mystery of the whispers was unraveling. As Lucas stood before the mirror, his voice echoed in the silence. Adelaide, I found Thomas, he never left you. His words hung in the air, a declaration of truths forgotten by time, but not by the spirits that dwelled in the house. The air in the room shifted, growing warmer, as if acknowledging the resolution of a long-kept secret. The spectral figure of Adelaide emerged from the mirror, her ethereal form gliding towards the cellar. Drawn by the resolution of a tale spun by love and tragedy, Lucas followed. In the cellar, the reunion was heartbreakingly beautiful. Adelaide's spirit met Thomas's, their forms intertwining in a spectral dance. Their whispers, once filled with longing, now echoed with relief and love. The chains of the past had finally disintegrated, allowing their spirits to reunite. Closing. In death, their love found a way back to each other. With the dawn comes the end of a tale. As the first rays of daylight pierced the cellar window, the spirits of Adelaide and Thomas began to fade. Their ethereal forms danced one last time under the moonlight before they disappeared, leaving behind only the glowing ring and a tranquility that the house hadn't known for decades. The whispers of Wyndham House, once filled with desperation and sadness, were finally silent. The long night of haunting was over, replaced by the peaceful quiet of a new day.